students i'm starting with the second lesson of your ncert textbook that is class 12th sexual reproduction in flowering plants in this session we'll try to understand why we are studying this lesson and brush up on your previous knowledge of the topic before we start this lesson let's just forget everything else and focus on these images so what did you feel a sense of beauty and happiness yes these are what flowers mean to us but for the flowering plants they mean much more they are a means of survival a special shoot to facilitate sexual reproduction the wide range of floral patterns petal colors and organization stigma and stamen placement is to ensure that pollination and then fertilization is guaranteed a plant makes all this happen to ensure seed setting with this introduction there are two task that you need to do first find the name of at least five flowers that are used in various social religious or commercial activities around you try to find botanical names of these flowers second try to find what is floriculture where in indian economy floriculture is significant contributor now this is the structure of flower with basic parts that you have been studying before proceeding further take a deep look at this picture turn around and try to draw a flower with all the labeled parts see how many you can label so a little recap from your previous classes flower is a modified shoot which means that once the vegetative growth or juvenile phase is complete part of shoot system of plant modifies to form flower the apical meristem starts behaving as floral meristem if flower is a modified shoot then logically the whorls of flower that is sepal petal stamen carpel are logically leaves in flowers the shoot is condensed that is the nodes are brought together so this modified shoot appears thicker and shorter as a result the nodes come closer together finally when does apical meristem starts to behave like floral meristem this is under hormonal control as we discussed in previous lesson so probably a hormone by the name of florigen is responsible for modification of apical meristem to floral meristem and a modified shoot that develops into a flower now flowers are specially made for reproduction so the reproductive flower parts in flower are classified into two groups the primary sex organ or the parts which produce male and female gametes they are stamen or collectively called as androecium these produce male gametes the pistil or gynoecium produce female gametes then there are the secondary or accessory parts which help in technical aspects of reproduction that is protecting ensuring gamete transfer etc these are petals or collectively corolla and sepals or calyx now you have done some additional parts as well last year can you recall what else is present in some flowers outside these sepals 
uh, I hope that this has helped you recall some of the top related things that you have studied in previous classes. Uh, I'll stop right here and from the next class, we'll start with the topics that need to be covered in your class 12. Thank you. Have a nice day.